Hi, so tonight's blind taste challenge is Talisker. I've got a set of three Talisker minis. Uh, it's the Talisker 10 year old, Talisker Sky and Talisker Storm. I've had the Talisker 10 year old before, but I've not had either of the non age statement uh, whiskies in this pack. I'm gonna be tasting them blind of course, but so I have some inkling towards which could possibly be the sky and the storm. I've read the brief uh, info on the back of the pack. It suggests the sky is uh, lighter and sweeter. It suggests the storm is bolder and spicier. And it suggests the 10 is salty and smoky. So um, being in this pack, can't see the colour, uh, so I, I, I won't be drawn necessarily by uh, by that. My wife will pour them into each of the Glen Cairns without me looking. So, on to the whiskey. Right, so my wife's poured the whiskey and mixed them all up. Um, a little bit about uh, Talisca. It's the oldest distillery on the Isle of Skye uh, from 1830. And these three whiskies are um, bottled at 45.8%, which is uh, a standard thing for, for Talisca. So uh, I might have a little, little water, we'll see how we go. So we'll start by nosing the first one. Right, so there's a hint of smoke. This one instantly smells a little sweet. Sweet and a hint of salt, uh, but the smoke is the uh, most noticeable. On to the second one. Right, so this one does smell a bit bolder, a bit stronger smoke. It doesn't, it doesn't smell as sweet though, but it is still, it is still sweet. Let's try the third one. Right, instantly I'd say that's sweeter. So based on the simple notes in the packet, my inkling would be that that's Talisker Sky. But it might taste completely different. Thanks for the first one. Yeah, this, this smells quite delicate. There's a hint of sweetness. a malty sort of peaty smoke. Let's give it a taste. On the palate the, um, the smoke dominates. It's, um, it's a little sweet. I wouldn't say that's too briny or salty. Uh, it's, it's only a little sweet. Yeah, the, the, the sweetness isn't, isn't too strong. There's a hint of vanilla. The um, peat smoke, you know, almost, almost a hint of uh, iodine. It's, uh, it's that that dominates. So, have a little bit of water and then um, move on to the next one. Right, instantly this smells sweeter than that one. So let's uh, try it on the pan. Noticeably less smoke. 
noticeably more sweetness and there's a slight peppery finish which the first one didn't have in the same way. This one, my initial impression is leaning towards the sky because it's sweeter. And I'd say the first one is potentially the 10 on the storm. It really does have uh, a noticeable vanilla sweetness compared to the first one. So um, I'm pretty sure that's not the 10. Let's see how the third one compares. Right. So this one has a, a heavy toffee sweetness and only the lightest hint of peat smoke. Confusing. So on the nose, this one seems like the sky, but the middle one was noticeably sweeter than the first one, so let's see how this tastes on the palate. The fact that this has not very much smoke at all, followed by the sweetness, my impression is that this is quite simple, noticeably younger whiskey than the other two. There's a little bit of dryness in the finish, but there's hardly any smoke. There's almost no smoke at all. Quite sweet, not much smoke. A little bit of spiciness to the finish, and a little dry. Okay, we will try the other two again, because my impression is that the last one is the sky, so let's go back to the first one. There's a hint, a little hint of sweetness. Just going to compare to the second one. This one, this one has the most smoke to it on the nose. Yeah, there's sweetness on the palate and the, the smoke starts to build. It's hardly, hardly a peppery finish to it. Um, it's not very aggressive. Um, tiny little bit of alcohol burn, but it's, you know, if you're sipping it at the right speed, that's quite pleasant. So. The one. Yeah, see that one's quite sweet. It's got a decent amount of smoke. And that pepperiness builds as uh, as it lingers uh, and evaporates from from the palate. So um, I think I'm going to have a stab at, at which one is which. I think that one is the sky. I think that one is the storm. I think that one is the 10. So I think it's 10, storm, sky. Let's see if I'm right. So the first one, no I'm wrong. <laughs> Couldn't be more wrong. Don't know if you can see that. The first one is sky. So let's move that there. That's clearly not the 10. The second one is the storm. So I've got the storm, right? So the second one is the storm, so that must mean the last one is the 10th, and let's just check to make sure. Yeah, the last one is the 10. So the 10 was noticeably sweeter on the palate. 
Um, the storm was as I expected, but the sky, I was really surprised. I would say that although I have a preference for uh, sweet whiskies, I would say that the sky um, is probably my favourite, followed by the 10, followed by the storm. So, um, yeah, here's to getting it wrong again, Stauncher. <laughs>